Happy New Year, everybody. This is Trainer Connor, and I am here with my fourth Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video today. Yes, I am here for 2018. I'm looking forward to what is ahead for me. I would love to grow my YouTube channel a little bit further. That is one of my main goals for 2018, just to expand a little bit further, just to gain a little more of an audience for that matter, and then grow more on Twitter, because Twitter is such a wonderful place right now. I mean, I'm being a little bit sarcastic there, but, you know, it's a great little thing that I like to do. Just be part of the Twitter and YouTube communities so that, you know, I have some kind of value there. Um, but other than that, just enjoying Pokemon and doing what I like to do in my free time is just something I want to keep doing in the years to come. So for this match is another in-game battle between me and Ruins where we finally got our battle. I've been looking forward to that for a long time and we finally got one. That is actually really good. Nothing like, like no one was superior than the other kind of thing. Or in Pokemon pun world, no one is superior than the other. Okay, it's too much. I can't even handle it. So, um... I have my in-game team there. You see I have the all three starter Pokemon with the Lycanroc and Vickivolk and Mayanshao. My opponent has a very interesting team because you look at it, he has no starter Pokemon whatsoever. You see a little on Nine Tails, you see Oracorio, Murkrow, Carbink, Flareon, Lopunny. What? You don't see this every day, that's for sure. I knew right away it wasn't a Mega Lop Honey because my opponent told me before we battled that he didn't have all the items. And um, I also knew that he probably didn't have the Caustic Orb so he can't use Flareon all that well there. Because of course, Flareon using Caustic Orb facade is a thing still. It's really powerful if you think about it. Oracorio is interesting. I have, I've never really fought one recently, so should be really fun. And I know about all in Nine Tails because I've used one before. Uh, Carbink and Murkrow. One of those can, I know Murkrow can use, uh, Eviolite. Definitely could use that. But if you look at it, I kind of have the match written on paper that I should win this match, you know? On paper it does. But, you have to play the game to find out. So, we'll see who wins this awesome match. Definitely hit the like button. And with that said, let's get right into the match. Here we go. Alright, you guys. So, this is the match. My opponent is going to start with Oracorio, uh, the fire type form. And I'm going to begin with Lycanroc. Lycanroc, uh, the dusk form. The new one that's for Ultra Sun and Moon. And new... That my opponent wouldn't want to stay in a like and rock like that. So I take the opportunity to set up my stealth rocks. He goes into the car bank and I'm like, alright, I have stomping cam cam for this guy right here. But it's very likely that the car bank here may have reflect and that's what he's going to use right here. He ends up surviving this stomping cam cam. It's a little bit weaker than Earthquake, and unfortunately, Lycanroc cannot learn Earthquake for some reason. I go into Vicar Volt here. I could have continued going for the Stomping Cancrum, but I figured he would switch and uh, go on him because he ends up going back into Oracorio. Yes, he does take Stealth Rock damage coming in, but he ends up attacking my Vicar Volt. I try to paralyze him. I miss the Thunder Wave. That is a little critical there. Very annoyed by that. Now I have to switch out. Going to Incineroar to dodge the, the attacking move there, Revelation Dance, that the Oracorio is using. I'm going to go for the Darkest Deliria. I know I'm faster than Oracorio at this point. Why didn't it this KO? He probably has some investment in there. My opponent told me that most of his Pokemon are not fully EV trained, 
But of course, you know, you have EVs, but they're all over the place if you didn't really EV train correctly, but either way, I, I don't get confused from the tiger dance they saw there, and I just go for outrage. So even though I'm confused, I'm going to still attack him with that move. Unfortunately, because I went for the outrage, Carbink is going to come back in and take care of the outrage, uh, you know, because he, he's immune to it, right? I get the awesome opportunity to burn the Carbink, which you might be asking yourself, well, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? I don't know, I'm just trying to be kind of nice to my opponent because he's getting, he haven't battled before, like, in Ultra Sand Moon, like, it's been a while since he battled me. Trying to be nice here is the bottom line. I'm going to let Incineroar go down. This way I can definitely utilize some of my other Pokemon. And that's what I'm going to do. So I go back into Vicavolt thinking I'm going to be faster than this thing. Nope, he just goes for another Stone Edge, although he could have missed it. I survive somehow? I don't know why. Uh, well, because he's burnt, duh, but I mean, I'm at such low health. But either way, I end up surviving that blow. Man, I'm so happy I burned it then. <laughs> um, I go back into Minxiao, or actually go into Minxiao. And just for Murkrow, let's go for knockoff, because... It's very likely that he has the Eevee light item, and he does have it, so very happy about it. He does have wing attack over aerial ace or fly. I would definitely prefer that, because I take it a lot better than I thought I would. We're going to go for the poison jab. I'm hoping for it to KO, and he actually does take it out, which is great. Now, like I said earlier, it's not a mega Wapani. A uh, funny story, like I'm going for the knockoff here. Uh, he he actually got this shiny Wapani in game. Literally the first Pokemon that he went into the grass, like he got a shiny Paneri, and he was like, "Screw the starter, po screw the starter Pokemon. I'm gonna keep this Wapani and um use it." And man, is he using it? Cause he's taking out some of my Pokemon here. He lost out my Vicavolt there. That's okay. We have, uh, the Sigiwai, and the Sigiwai is really bulky, because I EV can get, I know I can take a hit from Mega Wapani. Wow, did I really just say that? No. <laughs> no, it's messed up. It's a regular Wapani. Um, it's a shiny one too, but, you know. So we go for Leaf Flag. I could have gone for Sword Stance. Uh, it really does not matter because he has Ice Beam. And, uh, somehow I live. <laughs> um, I am gonna use Braveberg. I know it's probably not gonna KO because Nine Tails is pretty bulky as well. I go down to the Recoil. That makes it more interesting, alright? So, uh, we have Lycanroc. If he wants to attack me, I have a Focus Sash. And so, just having that available to me means I can live anyone move and go from there. Alright, here's Flareon. I still have my Focus Sash intact. I'm going to switch. Go into my Primarina. Because of the typing matchup, I could have gone for an Earthquake then. Or the Stopping Cancom. The smaller version of that, you know. But since I didn't use Primarina yet, let's do it. So we have the Warium Z available to Primarina. This way, Primarina can use Hydro Vortex, and that is going to finish off the Flareon, and my opponent is going to be defeated. Thank you, Ruin's Way, for the match. I know this was a little bit challenging for you, but you know you're getting into the game. Just keep on practicing, and you'll probably beat me again, just like we did the other time. But, you know, I wish you the best. Going forward, I know you're busy and all that, but we should battle more. Uh, this is a great example of it because that was a really fun match. Alright, I have another match coming for you guys in the next few days. I just have to clear a little bit of space so that I can record and uh, narrate the match. I post it on a day that I'm not busy because I'm going to be really busy the next few weeks. 
So just enjoy my content, whatever I have on the channel for that. And, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the match. Hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. All right, goodbye, Karen.